Falcon is out, a fan favourite, and maybe a straight-up upper rush. Will the alligator be able to find any food today? It will! It eats three! And now it's a five on two. And my God, it's a lot of fun to watch, but the round ain't done just yet. Electronic will be the last man standing. And that's why people are purchasing it. And Uri's to throw to the back of the site, but that one's good enough to claim it just life. It's all on Glaive. He's on the new box and he's gonna have to strike three times if he wants to clutch there. There's number one and number two. He's on for the clutch. It's all down to the in-game leaders. Which one has the broader shoulders? Glaive's also on for the ace, it should be mentioned. And he's gonna try and use the CZ up close with the sidearm. Can he get this done? It's so delayed, it's so labored, and Zeus is gonna deny him. And he's not going to have enough time, is he? It's super close. Super close. Could go either way. Oh! oh he's not going to have it, Vince. And Clive wins the three on one. Absolutely sensational stuff from him. Born running out of time here, though. Great shot by Simple. Takes down Dupree. He was at the quad. They just got a lot of trouble here. Oh, Zeus, you've got to hit those. You've got to hit those. Glaive takes him down, and that could be the round. Magus waits patiently for his chance to get another kill. He spots one. Can he convert it? Certainly can. This could be everything. Magus takes back the man advantage. That's a hell of a shot. He's going to double up onto Simple. Magus pulling the rabbit out the hat for the third. And that could be it for Na'Vi. Astralis move 14, 10 in the lead. Tough part now is you're a man down when you're already going to hit into this bomb site and device. He's going to rotate away. Actually, this is perfect timing for Team Liquid. Yes, it is. Maggie's going to appear on the bomb site right now. They need the opening kill. Liquid, something's got to go their way, and it has to be right now. 11 seconds left, but they're getting completely chewed up in the entry into that bomb site. A sixth round now for Astralis. I mean, time. What is it, about 20 seconds? Just reminding them. Yeah. Look at that clock. Don't forget that it's, it's on them. Yeah, and also, I mean, it, it just refocuses the players to realize they don't have to go anything for anything crazy. Oh, that's oh. through the smoke. That's nasty. You can't even... I mean, now it's that's towards the end of the round, so I think it was already decided, but choose to turn the corner relatively quick, and actually Dupree's going to have time to put that Molotov out. There it is. That's that's the brutal one. No smoke on Team Liquid to put that down, so those flashbangs they threw, they've only got one left. They've all been neutralized just by the flames, but that's a good entry, but they're all so low, and Glaive going to get another one, and he's going to finish it off. Every single can do with these two pistols more than a minute left as they try and make the corner twist with the headshot Not gonna be working this time and now hiding inside of the smoke Taco wants to help out twist turning around He somehow got the pre-aim on that, but he's out of bullets and he's gonna go down instead device will pick up the kill and now It's a two on two. They're actually faking for the bomb. They thought they were a bit closer They would have had time for the plant initially and Magus will be dropping Elise with a drive-by shot, taking him down. And now, all on device here with the P251 oh. click. He's going for a bit more nap on the other side. He must, he has to win this round. And device is simply waiting for it. He's so cool, so calm right now. Five bullets left. He just needs one. But now the reload is happening, and Naf can't even chase him down. And device will take it, steal it away at the end. 15 to 1. And even shooting his on that aim punch is so brutal once you once you get tagged. I'm more worried that they don't actually know what bomb site this is going to be planted out. And they're going to hear the bomb has been planted, but no one has eyes on lower, no one has eyes on upper. So, I mean, in a, in a weird world, they might not even be sure. And now Glaive has plenty of time to rotate around. I'm waiting for it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. They go for the B bomb site. They, they don't know. It's exactly what I was worried about. You don't, and now Glaive knows where they are. Look at him. He's just posted at the top of the vents. Oh, no. This is a nightmare. They're trying to get up. He's not going to let them get both the kills. Completely outsmarting Team Liquid. The quad kill. Flash. No. There it is. And there is the second one. Back to the door. One player is blind at the very least. Armanek dead. Oh, they're lining up into the 1v1. He's down to the ZZ. Is he really going to save this round? One move on the low oh. round. Zipex. Clutch Minister. God, let's go. How has he done what? that? <laughs> that is absolutely ridiculous. They've, they've got the bomb site. They've got the B bomb site. It's the hardest one to retake. They've got a little bit of utility remaining. There's, there is some for Astralis as well, but they have two versus five here. It is Zipex and Glaive. Again, the two clutch masters, but I think surely they can't do this again. They know there has to be a flank. There just has to be, but needs Master HE behind the box. Should get a kill. It's the Molotov, the flank, the trade, and it's Zipex again. One versus three again. The clutch minister. So far, so good. There's two more players remaining. He's through the smoke. The bomb is so far. Tick, though. There's a flank behind the smoke. Never do that. 20 just hiding. He's wasting so much time. The peppering. Where is the last player? The CZ is out. Oh, no. He's done it again. But is there time to defuse? They're so close. Zipex, he's doing it again. This can't be real.
Oh my god, he's not going to no! Oh, oh my god, god. are you I'm kidding serious. me? I am so are you with kidding this game. me? What? Prince, oh, he needed a headshot. This can still go badly. Three versus five, but the B bomb side is very hard to retake. Three of them gonna come up the stairs towards Sip, and they shut him down. Twist with a great kill. Now, this should be their round. Oh, but the vice is in the back, and you can do so much damage from here. You can see he can hide from the follow up players. He gets another one. And Astralis, a two on five, and they finish it off. They had it all lined. Long position at the moment. Are we going to see a three-man boost from Astralis? Look at where they're going. Information seeking, but Device is not one of these players. There's two. Up we go, and there's number three. Hello, Zeus. Does he see the play to his left? I don't, I'm not sure if he did. Navi, don't expect this. The problem is, even without a kill, this is a lot of information. Ding dong, and that's Zeus taken out. Still don't think they saw Electronic, however, but he is being checked for. Or is he? No, he's not. In the meantime, Edward's almost on the A side. He can make a play here as Electronic pushes in. Neither player has the bomb. They haven't seen the bomb yet, Astralis. Now they know Edward is on A. Matt is still on the B bomb site. Which way do they go? He's got an AK as well. This could be brutal. Do they have any idea? So the bomb will be planted there. Simple in the smoke. What can he do? Okay, the AK is being spotted now. Matt just falls back as his teammates push forwards. Simple. Call off guard. That's the up down. And this is very problematic now. There is not a kit here for Astralis. So they have to go for the fast pushes. And the one for one is fantastic for Astralis. They the orb to hold on to this. Oh, and there's the pink. It's strong from the vice. As Astralis take a very unexpected round and they pick up a second. Nade the window and there could be two kills coming out here, Vince. This could actually be a nightmare. Here they come. The airstrike. Tactical nukes coming in. Both kills landing. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be just doing the standard smoke. They make a much deeper one towards short. So to actually gave more access towards middle. Double that up with the window smoke, and you actually have the full area to yourself, which is connector you can focus on at this point. Nico, you're in trouble, my friend. <laughs> Goodbye. And uh, he will be executed with the grenade. That's all. Might be there are two people behind the stack up here, and there's going to be a whole rain of them landing down. Guardian is going to be gone eventually, and rain almost down to But this isn't a bad map for Astralis. It's still one of their best results overall. So these guys are they fantastic at it. They started picking this map over Overpass recently as well. I mean, they, they'd lost some confidence on that towards the beginning of the year, and they've been going towards train towards the end of last year as well. So, well, Hit the inner bomb site, I guess. Here, we'll see how it goes. Utility being used outside. Dupree and Device waiting on that lower ramp with the bomb. Zipnik's going to join up with them. But no one's moving from Renegades. They don't feel the fake at all. Glaive might be able to sneak in and wrap around Aza. Almost caught in the open. Ustilo is still here. Here's the pounce from Glaive. There's the timing. CZ on a nifty, and Ustilo watching absolutely nothing. This is good. This is a really nice bit of impact from Astralis. There's a couple of issues here. Are Renegades kind of called their bluff very last second. Jacob spots out one, but the information gathered both ways. Now it's down to JKS and Jacob to try and make this one look even cleaner for Renegades. Nice 12 2. That always looks pretty darn good, especially going to the final rounds of this half. So, Wave outdoes him. Out, uh, Wave? You just gonna wait? Wait it out? All right. One of them, fair play. Fair, fair play. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of Molotovs over the wall. Actually, one of them might land dead on Crims. This could be the ticket for Astralis. These grenades could do all of the work for them. Three of them going over the wall. One on Exist, one on Crims. Everybody's catching fire. Twist goes down, and there it is. They close it right out. Two on four. JW and Brolan left. How can you even dream of retaking this? Astralis grenading their way into overtime. I don't see any other way out of this one. They have got a single kit. They're going to set up the flashbang, but Astralis, they are all over the place. Everywhere is a crossfire. You are going to have to spend days looking for these remaining players, and they know it as well. JW trying to sneak on in. What a match this is. JW goes down, and it's 15-15 overtime here at the semifinals. Faded off. It's not that he like kind of cooled down or faded off. It's that Tyloo just stopped presenting the opportunity to get picked off by him. And that's when they started getting some rounds on the board, is when they actually had the manpower to attack bomb sites. Oh, dude, this is dangerous. He's used all of his bullets. Now he's reloading. As they're running in, and they're going to get close. Double grenade. Take down the double D. Works out perfectly. Extra it goes down as well to sit. That's a very powerful. And they've even left the pre at top mid. So, so any retake right now has to deal with this fact. I mean, I don't know what you could do against this. But shooting, this is actually something that a lot of people do. When you shoot through that smoke with a USP, they're counting on the other side, you know? Yeah. I mean, that's a classic pick as well. The double nade, the, the shallow smoke, and just talking back there. It's a popular place to be. 11 to... Um, it's a 
cool idea. Maybe this is as well. <laughs> what is going on here? Ah, uh, yes. The pull stack. The pull stack. The pull boost. The pull party. Oh, FY. FY pull party. Pull, pull day. day. Pull day, yeah. How dare you. That was a favorite. Hello. <laughs> 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 Swear <laughs>